semi-final day. It has to be said we have uh, an atmosphere here that is really buzzing. Both teams terrifically well represented, fans hopeful, expectant. As well they might be, there is no shortage of belief on either side that it will be their team at the expense of the other, their team alone, which will be lifting the trophy come the final. Well, Manchester clearly one of the genuine footballing hubs in England. And here is the hallowed turf, which is Old Trafford. So it's a straight shootout for the final. That's what we're going to see. There's nowhere, Jim, you would rather be. A game, some may argue, with justification as being harder than the final itself, Peter. I can certainly attest to that from my own experience. While you do everything to tell yourself you shouldn't get too ahead of things, it's actually harder than it seems. But it's looking like a terrific occasion here. Let's just hope we have a game to match all of this wonderful expectation. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Giorgio Chiellini. He's the very definition of a rock at the back. He's so physically imposing, but also a great reader of the game, and his positioning is usually spot on. Has a pop! Goal, Italy! There is the breakthrough! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Italy take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Chiesa, Immobile, Lorenzo Insigne, and it's Jorginho. Jorginho plays it out to the wing. Chiesa, real chance! OK, with the clearance. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Spain are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka, uh, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. Jorginho. Insigne. And here's Immobile. Immobile spreads it towards the left. Marco Verratti. Has a hit! He has done it! And with that goal comes comfort. With time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space but I think you have to give credit where it's due and it was a brilliant setup and finish Italy get themselves a two goal cushion well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other Oh, we're tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Ferran Torres. 
hook. Koke! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. That's a throw. Koke not easily shrugged off the ball. Koke with the delivery. He's had a shot! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Half time in the semi-final. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Italy sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. Well, we're already into the second period. Going for goal! No, not this time. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Chiesa. Marco Verratti. It's Verratti! This ball, that is asking for trouble. Lorenzo Insigne. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Kies, massive leap! And here's Insigne. And here's Verratti. Marco Verratti really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. He's got away. Oh, that's a waste. Marco Verratti. Verratti has made his mark on this game. Played out to the right. He's had that put on a plate. Shot a goal! And it's there! And the lead is three! It is surely done! That was a given. It always was. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly for Moran City. Italy take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Jorginho. Oh, good. Immobile! He's looking to get there first. And it's Jorginho. Jorginho gets it out to the wing. Gets up to head it! That is a class save. He had to be at his best. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Chiesa. Goes for goal! In it goes! Comfort! Yet more comfort! Easing away! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change. Italy tear their opponents apart once again. 
They are utterly ruthless. And the counter is on. And it's Laporte. Ferran Torres. Pinged forward. Five minutes left on the clock. Berardi provides an outlet. He's left his man. Berardi. That's big chance! Lorenzo Insigne. Spinazzola. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Oh, that had to be more accurate. Morata. Out to the left it goes. And that is that. Surely the